What's up, everybody? It's Life Editor David Gray here with you on a Tuesday afternoon. It's production day for us at the paper, We're trying to get uh, this Thursday's edition out there for you all, and hope everybody's having a great day today. Like I said, I'm with the Livingston Parish News. You can find all of our content on www.livingstonparishnews.com. We're also very active on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. We have a morning and afternoon podcast that we that we publish Monday through Friday, as well as a weekly podcast, a more in-depth podcast that's done by our publisher and editor, Q David, once a week. So we're going to get y'all get y'all's traffic update going on right now. And uh, right now in Livingston Parish, it looks pretty clear right now. There is, it looks like, an accident on I-12 eastbound at the, it looks like it's right at the O'Neill exit. So if you're coming from Baton Rouge, uh, be the, and if you're experiencing some slowdowns, that, that's the reason why it looks like, like I said, it's like right on the O'Neill exit. Then there's some traffic building up on Highway 190 near Eden, near uh, Hatchell Lane and Dennis Springs, as well as there's a good bit of traffic on Highway 190 near Eden Church Road, as well as near the Juvenile Road intersection, that little uh, pocket right there. And then going a little further into Livingston Parish in Walker, you have some traffic on Highway 1027 that's uh, right around Walker High, it looks like, as well. And it goes to Walker South Road, and then there's also some traffic past that. So uh, just be on the lookout. There's all, there's looks like there's a good bit of uh, traffic today. And then a little further north in Walker on Highway 1025 near Highway 447 uh, or Courtney Road, it looks like there's a there's a lot of uh, uh, slow buildup going on right there. Uh, our weather update, which is brought to you by our friends at WVLA NBC 33 and WGMB Fox 44. It's uh, pretty hot today. It's 90. It's 90 degrees. Feels like 92. So not not as bad as it's been. But uh, the rest of the week, it actually looks like it's gonna it's starting to see some more cooler temperatures. Uh, the rest of this week, you got a high. The highest uh, through Sunday is 92 which isn't too bad, and then lows of 68, 69, 73, 72, and 71. That's uh, through Sunday. So, so yeah, like I said, uh, the weather, it looks like it's we're starting to finally get into the fall season. So now let's, uh, switch, let's go to our uh, go to today's headlines. And our uh, publisher, at McHugh David, was at the Denham Springs Council meeting the other night, and uh, one of the Man, even though the flood recovery was on the agenda, according to his story, the uh, trash actually consumed a lot of the talk. They were uh, talking about uh, the Republic Services, which holds a contract with the city to do its trash. They came in, they came into the city council meeting. They discussed a rate increase that's based on the consumer price index of eighteen cents per household, uh, according to Mayor Landry. That totaled about 595 per month for Republic, or just over 7,100 a year. And this discussion was mostly formality, as the CPI base increases are baked into the garbage collection company's contract with the city, which is considered standard operating procedure. However, the council also brought up uh, some issues that that they've had, or that I guess the city has had with uh, Republic service. And one councilman even said that 90 percent, 95 percent of the calls that the council gets are. That have to do with garbage pickup. So it was a, a seemed like a, a healthy discussion. And like I said, you can find that on our uh, website www.livingstonparishnews.com. And also during that city council meeting, they they uh, unanimously approved that to uh, declare Wet City Hall a surplus, which that'll uh, pave the way for that to be demolished. And uh, if if any of you if you've been following us uh, the last year and a half or so, there, there's been talks. Uh, the group Denim Denim Strong is talking about. They've wanted to demolish that the uh, old city hall and make that uh, community green space, uh, make it more of a more of a park it, a park type area with with pavilions, trees, uh, benches, lawn chairs, all that sort of stuff. So that's uh, that's kind of the first step in that happening is uh, getting that getting that building marked as surplus so that they can open the door for demolition. And then uh, switching gears to sports, uh, French Settlement Serenity Smith. Uh, she, she plays uh, for the French Settlement High basketball team. She committed to play basketball collegially at Kentucky Christian, which is uh, that uh, uh, Rob Yarman, our, one of our sports writers, he, he had a nice uh, feature story on her today. It said it gave her a chance not only to, uh, to continue her basketball career, but also to further her faith. That's something that uh, she said was very important to her. She visited the NAIA school, and the school's located in Gray Grayson, Kentucky once during the recruiting process and said that she uh, was also influenced after she met with Kentucky Christian coach Lisa Kahn, who 
they met at at a uh, at a AAU basketball camp in Louisville. So uh, they kept up that relationship until uh, Miss Smith was able to sign with them. And Miss Smith, she was a second team All District selection and also an honorable All Parish mention as a junior. And she chose Kentucky Baptist over over East Texas Baptist, LSU Alexandria, Southern Arkansas, Covenant College, and Hendricks College in Arkansas. And she kind of said that she was hesitant to play at Kentucky at Kentucky Christian because there's about a, it's a, almost 900 miles for, uh, to the campus from her home in French Settlement. But when she visited college, uh, her, you know, her whole perspective on that changed. So that was, uh, so yeah, uh, a st- local student going to go play, going to go play out of the state soon. And switching gears to lifestyle news, uh, if you saw the story we posted today earlier on our Facebook page, it was just a uh, just a one more preview for Lane Hardy's homecoming bash. If if you followed uh, if you followed us the last couple of years, you know all about Lane Hardy. Now he's the French Settlement graduate, French Settlement native from Livingston Parish who won American Idol this year. And on Saturday, September 28th at North Park in Dem Springs, he's gonna have his first official concert back in Livingston Parish. The last time he was here, he was a uh, it was on Lane Hardy Day during the the week prior to the American Idol finale and. Uh, when he was in Livingston Paris, that, that that concert drew about ten to twelve thousand people. Uh, the fairgrounds, they said they've never been as packed, and that's what Scott Ennis, the uh, a local radio personality, you all know him, who he's uh, promote, he's organizing the concert. They're expecting uh, about four or five thousand people here at North Park. It's gonna be. It's going to be a crazy day. There's going to be music all day long. There's going to be, besides Lane, they have four other acts. You have the Chase Tower Band, also another uh, Livingston Parish native. Chase Tower's from Dim Springs, went to Dim Springs High. Then after him, you have uh, LaRue, then Parish, uh, excuse me, then the Kendall Schaefer Band and Parish County Line. If it, if you remember, Sarah Collins was originally uh, supposed to perform. She's a singer from Central who recently moved to Nashville to uh, you know further her career, but she had to back out due to a scheduling conflict so Kendall Schaefer stepped in a couple weeks ago so the music is supposed the gates open at 9 a.m and the music is going to start Chase Howard's going to kick things off at 1 p.m Lane Hardy and then like I said throughout the day you're going to have music and then Lane Hardy's uh, scheduled to cap off the night at 8 30 p.m and tickets are still available in advance if you buy them at www.etix.com. That's E-T-I-X.com. They're $30, but if you wait to get them at the gate, they're $50. So Scott Ennis is really encouraging people to, to buy the tickets in advance. So, you know, save yourself 20 bucks a ticket. And then kids, uh, children three years and old, uh, younger, excuse me, get in for free. So if you have any small kids, you don't have to worry about paying for them to get in. But also, he also gave some instructions for parking because it's going to be, uh, like I said, it's at North Park. It's going to be on the north side of the soccer field at North Park. So uh, some people, if you purchase the parking pass, you have to enter the park on the Eden Church Road side. And while all other people are going to enter the park at the Lockhart Road entrance. So so uh, just make sure if you, uh, whichever category you fall under that you go into the appropriate entrance. There will also be a tent for elderly people and people uh, and people who are in wheelchairs. It's on it's but it's on a first come first serve basis. So uh, keep that in mind. And uh, Ennis also uh, encourages people to bring their lawn chairs. But there's no ice chests allowed. There's going to be plenty of vendors selling selling uh, all, all types of like your regular fair foods and drinks. And then there's also for uh, people 21 years and older. There's also going to be adult beverages. So. That's something to look forward to. And if you need more information on that, go to the Cajun Country Jam uh, page on Facebook. And really, this is kind of a cool thing for Lane because it kicks off his first headlining tour. He's going to be performing 17 shows over the next couple of months. He's going to 14 states. About It's going to cover about 10,000 miles back and forth across the country. And it's all started in Denham Springs. And that's kind of where it started for him a few years ago. Uh, I, post, I, I did a story a few months back whenever the American Idol madness was going on. And his uh, he actually kind of got introduced to everybody during... Uh, uh, it was a local version of American Idol. It was called Bayou Idol. Scott Ennis also put that on. And it was the first time Lane really got to uh, perform in public and be judged something he got used to plenty during uh, on two years of American Idol. And he actually finished in second in that uh, in Bayou Idol a few years ago. So it's uh, a lot has changed for Lane in the last uh, two years, but it, it's going to be, it's going to be a great concert and we'll have all, if you can't make it out there, but want to see photos and get, catch a story on it. Uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be out there all day. I'm having another photographer come out there with me. And then, you know, some of our other employees here at the newspaper are going to stop by and get pictures and stuff. So we're going to have full coverage on that day. So don't worry about that.
And also going on something going on uh, that day in Albany, Livingston Parish Library. There, uh, this month they're kind of uh, trying to, you know, in, in a more of an attempt to show that they're more than books. That they provide, you know, greater uh, resources than books to the community. They're hosting uh, a few wellness events at all five of their branches throughout this month. And the first one, or the main, the big draw is going to be the uh, health fair that's going to happen at the Albany Springfield branch on Saturday. That's going from 10 until 1 p.m. And it's a free resource expo. There's going to be a bunch of uh, health organizations that are going to be there just to, uh, you know, uh, talk about their services and that sort of stuff. And people will also be able to have, they'll also be able to get free, free blood pressure uh, and cholesterol screenings as well as free flu shots provided by Southeast Community Health S uh, Systems. And then uh, next, uh, excuse me, this week on Thursday and on Friday at the main branch on Thursday and at the Watson branch on Friday, the Wal Walgreens and Walker is also offering free flu shots for people seven years and older. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to register in anything to get one of that, but you have to present a copy of your insurance to receive a flu shot. And then people who are under 18 must be accompanied by a, a legal guardian in order to get that free flu shot. But if you need more information on that, just go to the library's website, www.mylpl.info, excuse me. And so let's uh, take y'all back through the traffic and weather, get y'all out of here on this Tuesday. Right now, the traffic is building up on Highway 190. It looks like it's really bad on Highway 190 between Eden Church Road and Jubin Road. And there's also some buildup. It looks like actually now I see the reason for that in, uh, in Walker on Highway 1025 near the 447 intersection. There is a wreck, it looks like. So yeah, if you're, uh, if you're driving in North, North, North Walker, there's a wreck out there. So just uh, be mindful of that. There also seem, looks like there was a wreck on the... On, near the O'Neill Lane exit, but it looks like it's kind of cleared up, so so that shouldn't be an issue anymore. And then there's also some traffic building up on Highway 16 from Dim Springs to Watson, and then uh, some more. But the, yeah, that looks like that's pretty much uh, the the worst of the traffic today. And right now, the and the weather update, it feels like it is 90 degrees, or excuse me, 92 degrees. It's actually 90 degrees, and the rest of this week, it's, it looks like we're getting cooler temperatures. The High for the rest of this week uh, through Sunday doesn't exceed 92 degrees, and uh, we'll have lows in the 60s. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a low of 68, and it's sunny. And it looks like we're just gonna. It looks like it's gonna be uh, mostly sunny the rest of this week. There is a chance of thunderstorms on Saturday and partly cloudy on Sunday, but it looks like it's gonna clear up again on Monday. And that weather update is brought to you by WVLA NBC 33. In WGMB Fox 44. Like I said, I'm Lifestyle Editor David Gray with the Livingston Parish News. You can find all of our content on www.livingstonparishnews.com. We're also active on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. We have a morning and afternoon show that we publish Monday through Friday, as well as a weekly podcast done by our publisher, McHugh David. And we also, we, uh, like I said earlier, today is production day. We have two print editions that come out. Uh, one is on Thursday and the other one's on Sunday. So, so uh, if, if you're shopping at any any place where they sell newspapers in Livingston Parish, just grab your copy, or you can go to our website and sign up to get uh, to get it delivered to your house. Hope you all have a great day.